Welcome to you laddies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to Riddle School 4! Hopefully this one is a, a bit easier than the last one because the last one was just like you had to combine a bunch of shit all together you had to stick things together and just drag them onto everything so it got a bit confusing after a while but hopefully this one continues the trend of looking better but also... Oh yes, getting into the matrix! Accessing, analyzing map system this is cool! Analyzation process complete! Who, whose classroom are we in this time? I can't remember who we started. We started in a music room in the last one? Was it? No. Yeah, I can't remember. There's been a whole bunch of them. They're all kind of the same. Okay, Mr. Munch's room! Math poster, smiley, Greg, Diz? Who's Diz? Hallway, math posters, don't bend the rulers! Change into rules. Dirt and grass. This is a beautiful classroom. Dude, you are absolutely freaking out with the cold again, aren't you? Are you okay? Seriously, are you alright? Hopefully. Um, Diz, who's Diz? What happened? Did I just fall into a hole in the ground? Uh, what? Why did that happen? Because I clicked on Diz! Diz nuts? Phil's teacher, Mr. Munch, was the original architect of Riddle University. The school was built above a long pit of lava that he himself dug near an active underwater volcano. That's a lot of dedication. His plan to murder Phil Eggtree to forever rid him of this world succeeded. I'm dead? And no one cared. What? What's going on? Every other student of Riddle University eventually died from car wrecks, old age, and unforeseen disasters. <laughs> Each one on their deathbed whispered, whispered their final wish. Damn titties. <laughs> Please don't let there be any more Riddle School games. Is this the end of the game? Stay tuned after credits to see your time. What? Is that literally all Riddle School 4 is? What would have happened if I clicked everybody else? Yes, John bro, I get it, you did everything. <laughs> That's nuts. That's kind of disappointing. Is that literally all there is? John bro, elusive three-year-old. Pepsi, okay, so there's extra appeal. Beta testers. 65, 53, 21. I love that, dude. <laughs> okay, so I'm dead. That's the end of the Riddle School games. Isn't there more? I thought there was like six of them. Not four. The other ones are called Riddle School Transfer or something, I think. Just as every book has a start and a finish, a series must have a beginning and an end. It is the end! I deliberately sucked all the room for another sequel out of this series, so that it too may end. John bro. John Bruddy! I love you, man! Is that seriously it? You beat the game in 25 seconds, you also unlock real fun facts, special features now available on the main menu. Real fun facts! Like two days, 30 FPS. This is all lame! Special features, audio commentary for the game's ending, the making of Riddle University, what happened to all the characters? Okay. Is that really all there is? Skip intro. So if I click... If I click hallway... The same thing happens every time. That sucks! I thought there'd be more to it, okay. That's like a, a fucking three minute video then, just on the game. Okay. I get it, you're dead. Roll credits. Okay. Let's move on to the next one then. If there actually is another one. And play that along with this. Okay, so there's a Riddle School 5. After he said he wasn't going to make any more of them. Here we are. Riddle School 5, there's another one. Well, everyone, it seems soon our dreams will become reality. 
Do I, have to click, do I have to click this? Oh! Just as all of our prisoners' realities have become dreams! We all know our new prisoners were taken from Riddle Elementary School. Enlighten our listeners as to the reason we're here already. I was getting to that part, Viz. This meeting is primarily to discuss these human suspects and their new dreams. Their behavior, after all, is why how is why and how we are going through with our plan. Yes, because evildoers deserve nothing more than the taste of their own evil. That's how he sounds. You sound like that. Random dude. This is Fred. We can read the caption next to the corner, Diz. Diz! So Diz was in the background. He was an alien. I'm mean, enlightening everyone just like you said. Fred, in his dreams, does as close to nothing as he can manage. Of the prisoners we have, he seems to be the least useful right now. Smiley smiles constantly within her dreams. We've tried to find... We've tried to find intended flaw in her ways, not yet to any avail. If one human is proven to be scum, the rest are no cleaner. Her face is nothing but a cover for her ugly desires. That's not true. Zack here was shivering long before he was abducted from that school. It seems impossible that he would be so ongoingly chilly, there is a chance that by looking into his unusual condition, we could power a weapon of freezing that pathetic planet Earth. Hmm. I could have sworn I was the one telling the presentation. Shut up, other guy. And here we have the reason for our master plan. Had we not witnessed firsthand Phil escaping from his own school, Earth would not have become our first target of destruction. We can get into his brain, but what matters most is what we try to get out of it. Knowing the enemy is the best way to defeat them. Uh, Diz, I can't remember what the plan is exactly. Quiz, you're completely useless. Well, I can clarify. With the knowledge we receive from these three dream captives, it's planned we completely freeze their homeworld, planet Earth. This procedure is to be repeated to other wrongdoing planets. I have one more question. Go ahead, Quiz. When you were talking just a second ago, you said from the knowledge we receive from these three dream captives, didn't you mean to say four? Of course, just a slip of the tongue. Hey, why isn't the transmitter turned off? What if one of our subjects hears? Sorry, I didn't even know it was on. It'll be turned off in a second. We know. I'm the fourth. I'm the fourth. Clever. I'm into it. I like it. Let's get down and dizzy. This might be a longer one, actually. Hopefully, anyway. The last one was a bit um, anticlimactic. It wasn't even a game. So do we have to... Do we have to escape... From prison now? Prison school? Riddle prison? No, still riddle school. Okay, can I click around? Okay. Vent cover. If it wasn't screwed to the wall, I would move this cover to get through. Alrighty. It's a bed. Puts the fine back in solitary confinement. <laughs> Set out. I don't think I can open that door. It's barred and has no doorknob. That probably means it's remote activated from the other side. Pillow. That's a pillow, but it feels more like a lump of stiff clay. Underbed. Aha! I'd mistake this for a quarter if it wasn't for the monster picture on it. It's an alien money. I have a feeling that light bulb will be, playing, will be the only bright part of my day. I say that very lightly. Can I throw the coin down? Can I use the coin in the door? Okay. Ah! Ah ha ha! Oh, curse smokers! Oh god. This is gonna be very finicky then to click on each individual thing all the time. Can I pick up the screws? Yes, indeedy. Thank -a Down we go! Oh, sweet love of fuck. Is that a victory bell? I've decided I don't want to do that again. <laughs> Good call. Subject 9417. It would seem to me that I am subject 9417 in something. Until today, I've only been the subject of a few cheap school English papers. There's a button on this duck statue thing, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Am I playing Minesweeper? I did it! Okay, oh no, I have to get these patterns. There we go. The fuck? 
Okay, what kind of patterns can we get? Just keep clicking everything until you get something. There we go, I did it! Not really. Fuck, man! Okay, what one will we go for? This one. Okay, so you click those that... This is really confusing! This is hard! I don't like this, mommy! Oh! If I can reverse that, that'd be great! Hey, it's a pattern! Can't get any of these fucking ones, though! There we go! I got something! And I got that one! Nice! Okay, do I have to get all of them? Ah, oh, shite! This is gonna be complex. I don't like it. I did it! Yes! 4701. 4701. Okay. Did I not need to do that at all? Could I have just guessed what? I'm not trying to cheat. I'm just. I'm so used to like right clicking and left clicking on everything. Um, 4701. Is that useful for something? It would not be preposterous to assume the car key scanner can control the door. Yeah. 4701. Do I need that for something? Smiley! Save him! Jesus Christ! I really hope there's a better way to make up- to wake up my friends. Um, yeah, probably. Flower room? What the fuck? Dirt flowers! Okay. Apparently my green thumb leaves something to be desired. <laughs> I kill flowers just by touching them! Pick up the potted flower! This plant's not immediately dying, so I'll take it. Nice! I have a flower in my inventory. Hopefully that's helpful. I guess the flowers get their solar energy from this miniature star. I would most- it would, I would most likely be a fried egg tree if I tried doing something to it. Tour flower pour. <laughs> Those three words end with the same letters, but they all sound different. I'll have to think of a minutely funny pun about that in a minute. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, it must be so hard to learn English sometimes, because you'd, you'd expect it to be tower flower power, or tour floor poor, or tour floor poor, but no, tour flower poor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my language. Why did the mute cat cross the street? I don't know. It didn't say. <laughs> no, you're a moose! I got a tray. It's a picture of a flying pizza and a sports fanfic alien child. I can't think of anything to say about that. You don't need to. Okay, key card. I think I'll swipe this card so I can swipe the card in the key card scanners. Yes, okay, cool. Sorry! Skip. Sorry. Same thing again. Okay, let's head back. Use this on this. Beep beep. Okay, is there any reason to be back in here though? Probably not. 4701. Gotta remember that. Hi! It looks kind of cute, actually. I don't want to take my chances sneaking by into the room behind it, though. Probably best. Oh, Jesus. It's awfully tempting to just fly right out of this place. But I think my friends would like me more if I saved them all first. Why are we saving my friends? I thought we didn't like them, we just wanted to leave school. I usually find the best channel on TV to be the static- the one with the static. Oh, okay. Hopefully the marks are making sense of what the fuck is this? Unreachable steak. That steak might come in handy if I could only get it without being covered in acid. Fat! Obese jokes aren't funny. They're hilarious. <laughs> I can say one sentence. I can say a sentence one letter longer than that. This sentence contains 38 letters. Cool. Eat the creamy cookie. Eat the creamy cookie. If that's the secret code, it's the easiest one I've ever deciphered. Eat the creamy cookie. I don't have a creamy cookie. Donut picture! I love donuts, probably a little too much. If you really are what you eat, I'm going to have a big hole in my body. <laughs> it looks like that fish is swimming in grape juice. The metal fish thing looks hungry. It's a good thing if it's made of metal. I'm baffled by how the acid pool doesn't affect the wooden floor. Oh! Okay, so there's a door down there. I can faintly see a hidden door at the end of the metal thing's throat. Okay. So 
but that would mean it's... Where? That looks distinctly like radar, but I have no idea being sure. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. What are we after? I need the meat for this guy, I think. Let's just keep going. Life transferring station. Living thing goes here, dead animal goes here. Life transfer machine instructions. To properly transfer life from a living thing to a dead animal, it's as easy as one, two, three. Put a living thing where the round arrow sign indicates. Put a dead animal where the other big arrow sign indicates. Press the arrow in the middle of the machine. Also know that the living thing dies when the dead animal comes to life. So I have to make something come to life? It's a blank screen. Power panel. Oh, God. What do I do? Oh! I need four screws! Okay, where am I getting the fourth screw? The only gauge I really pay much attention to is the one at the bathroom scale. Nah, just kidding. I don't pay attention to that one either. <laughs> You're so cool, Phil. Hi, I'm the man of one title and this is a bad poster. Whether or not that's a poster, a bad poster is moot. Remember to feed Oswald the monster. He only eats live meat. Aha! So I have to bring the meat to life. Oh, I almost forgot. He doesn't eat what he can't smell. So find food with an aroma and put it where the smell can easily spread. Oh, idea, idea, idea. You put the plant here and then you put the meat there and it swaps them. Got it, got it, got it. But how do we get the meat? We have to find the door where that thing is. Whoa, out of sight, out of mind. It worked this time. What? 4701, why is that helpful? I don't know where I'm going. Damn it. Hidden door, there it is. That comes out at the back of the fish dude. Nice, now get the meat. Yoink. Got it. Awesome, now we can go back. No, I need another screw. Also, that worked because I did this. I think. The 4701 turned on this. Where do I get the last screw? You know, I'm gonna say it's the odors being blown into the room from this vent shaft. Can I make the meat all smelly? I don't know. Um, okay, life transferring thing, right? Pressing this arrow doesn't do anything, the machine isn't on. Yeah, I need another screw, but where do I get it? I need one for there. Um, okay, let's look around. Maybe I'm missing something on the ground somewhere. Or maybe there's one underneath somebody's bed. Let's go back and try. Under bed. I see a tissue obviously used, there's no way I'm touching it. Ugh, what was it used for? Flower room, any screws in here? No. Under the bed? I see a photo of a puking gorilla under the bed. It doesn't quite tickle my fancy. Damn it! I wish I could say that right in my day. Any screws? Any hidden doors in here? Hidden walls? Fuck, I thought that that was the answer. Yeah, hidden door. I didn't see anything of use other than that stake up there. Okay. Why, why am I able to stay invisible? What's me staying invisible and cop accomplishing? Any, uh, screws lying around? Oh wait, under this bed. Aha! There we go. Okay, I forgot that there was another prisoner. Right, here we go. Uh, life transferring station, yes. I go in here and... Boink! Is the power on now? Yes! Green arrow button! Yes! Suck that flower! Suck that meat! Is the meat alive? That was simply a fail. I think there's a reason that meat didn't survive with the plant's life. Okay. Now what? Can I combine? No. Um, right, let's look at that again. Uh, yeah, put a living thing where the round arrow sign indicates. Living thing goes here. The plant is living, but a dead animal where the other big arrow sign indicates. Press the arrow in the middle of the machine. Why didn't it work? Is 
Does this work? Curiouser and curiouser. I have to put soil in it? Okay, now do you work? Because the plant was in dirt, so it would only make sense, I guess, that the stake could be in dirt. You worked! Yay! Okay. It's, uh, adorable. And I got my plant back. Okay, cool. So, how do I use you? Do I just use you on the, the monster? No! Do we use you here? I should be able to use you on the monster! Why not? Wait, can I place you on the floor? No. Place you down here? There we go! Vent shaft and liver! Yeah! Walking to the monster with that meter roam in there is a brilliant idea. Wow! Maybe I ought to find a plan plate to sit in. No idea. How about a height? There we go. Okay, now it makes sense. Nice! Now, can I use the key card on the door? Yes! I'm afraid dinner to go is not an option for you anymore. Awesome! Did I escape? Oh no, I, I didn't. I need to save my friends first. Fuck! Enter the children's dreams in the chair in the ne Oh, whoa, God. I could be wrong, but this looks important. I didn't read it. Enter the children's dreams in the chair in the next room. Their dreams will only end when in them they meet doom. Something's clicking in my head. My friends are physically protected by barriers because of this. I can't directly wake them up. However, my dream that went on into college stopped when I was killed. My dream that was the only dream that he was in riddle school. Their dreams will only end when, in them, they meet doom. Oh, which means I have to go to incept into their heads in the dreams and then kill them in their dreams. I'll have to kill them from within their dreams. Bwaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
That <laughs> was much easier than I thought it was gonna be. Ah, oh, God, I'm so dumb. I thought it was like, everything else was so convoluted. It's hardly that I just click them. Okay, are you safe now? Yay! Ah, Zach, you're awake. I thought I died because suddenly I felt cold. But you're always cold, Zach. I mean, like, really cold. Well, that doesn't matter now. We're in a space station. I can't explain everything, but there's escape pods downstairs. Oh, really? I guess I'll get going. Bye, Zach! Have fun! So, all the riddle schools up until now were dreams? Or some of them were just another one was a dream? I don't know. What happens if I put 9417 into it? 9417. Nothing happened. Okay. I thought there would be some sort of meta joke there. Uh, 1831. 1831. Boonk! Boop -da -boop -da -boop. Who are we saving now? Uh, Smiley! Let's save Smiley's ass! Killing them is a lot easier than I thought it would be. Accessing, analyzing map system. So we have to go through some of the things. I love the music. Analyzation process complete. Riddle school three, Smiley's dream. So we're going through all the riddle schools. Nice. Oh, so my riddle school was riddle school four. And then the other characters represent the other riddle schools. This is really cool. Ah, the familiar Mr. Soggy's class from my dream. If possible, I'm gonna kill Smiley quickly and painlessly. That sounds bad, but it's for a good cause. I have to kill him so I can save him. Kill your friends to really save them. Globe. Um, right, so ruler. Air vent. There's a rubber band in there, vents, finger reach inside. Thought I really buy, find myself a lot of vents. Um, right, chewing gum. Didn't I have that before? Poor oblivious Smiley. She doesn't have a clue what I'm trying to do. What could I use to faintly wipe that smile off her face? Ruler. Fred still seems half asleep, so I don't mind wake his wake. Zack is still freezing, he needs no problem check. Okay. Mr. Soggy's. Oh, wait! Chalk? Don't need any chalk. Okay. There's got to be something in this room that I could try. Oh, yeah, the chewing gum is on this. Get this. So you're just replaying the same things. It's like a fucking dream. It's like Groundhog Day. Nice! Got it. And then I use the rubber band on the teacher. Flunk! Die, bitch! <laughs> Can I kill him with glasses? Oh no, my glasses! Need to pick those up, okay. Oh no, Soggy's glasses fell onto the floor! I'm sure he is too- It sure is too bad he can't teach without them on. Smiley's not smiling anymore. Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> I thought he was gonna stab the spike up through his face. He just swallowed a globe. <laughs> okay, oh, wrong one. Okay, I really like this one. Smiley, do you have any idea where we are? All I can think is I just woke up from a really long dream. Sort of. We're subjects of mind-altering from what I've gathered. Oh yeah, and we're also not on Earth anymore, but that can be fixed. There are escape pods on the bottom floor of this facility. Well, that's something to be sm to smile about. I guess I see you on Earth. I really like Smiley. Smi I want to be more like Smiley in real life. Hell, I am more like Smiley in real life. I am a positive, nice, shiny person. 72, 72. 72, 72. Enter the dream world like all spin around So this should be riddle school one then Accessing analyzing map system Go. Analyzation process complete Riddle school four Fred's dream So that wasn't my one then I thought I woke up because I died in it here we are. I remember this room. Nobody's here. I think class just hasn't started yet. Wait a minute. Fred never had a seat in this classroom. So how is this his dream? <gasps> hey, Phil. Is this Mr. Mr. McMaster's room? 
Who are you? Uh, are you Fred? Yes. Yes, you're in the right place. Cool. I just wanted to make sure I didn't get killed or something. He knows. He knows more than he thinks. It should be a button on his desk, right? Description of Phil Eggtree given to me. Bald, looks like this, always wears greens. He needs to sit in the desk closest to the door so I can kill him. Sons of bitches. Hey Fred, what's up? How have you been? Have you ever seen a drooling platypus? You have to die so you can escape your dream. Uh-huh, I bet. Please explain. Your life is a dream made by an alien organization. The chances of that are lower than the chance of Riddle School 5 coming out. Yeah, you see... Never mind. <laughs> Would you like to wear my sweatshirt? Your sweatshirt is quite nice, but I actually think it's sort of hot in here. Hey, it could be just you. That or there's a pit of lava below the classroom. Eh, sounds pretty good either way. Damn it, I have to get him to be me. Thinking of trying to get the same jobs to require talent at all, blah, blah, blah. Okay, come on. Can't say that I have. I saw a galloping seahorse the other day, however. Drooling platypi beat galloping seahorses any day of the week. Well, in that case, I hope your drooling platypus chokes on its own spit. <laughs> How have you been? Not bad, not great, so I guess I've been alright. My favorite thing to do right now is nothing. I've discovered that's hard to do when people act like morons. You are so right. Um, you forgot to wake up this morning, you only wore underwear today. Disco pants are coming back in style. Yeah, it's a look down to know that I'm wearing more than that. Okay, come on. Urgh. Well, that's almost enough motivation to kill myself, but I'd rather not. Right now, I really don't think suicide would benefit me very well. Yeah, you see, never mind. Um... I'll stop talking now. I did everything! Thermostat! Ah! Make it cold! Hey, Fred! Uh, do you like me wear my shirt? I guess it is a little cold in here, and your sweatshirt does look comfy. Alright, hand it over. I'll put it on before class starts. Okay, Jesus! There we go. Are you going to look at your notes, Mr. Munch? Nice! Dude, John bro, this is really clever. Because it's like he didn't want to make a Riddle School 5 and he wanted it to die, but other people wanted more. So then he had to figure out a way to make the story continue. And this is super clever. It's like Inception. It's like time travel. Nice! All friends saved. I know! Hold your applause! I know I'm a hero and everyone should love me. <laughs> uh, okay! Uh, Duder! Yeah, Fred! Hey, Fred! Uh, hi. I don't know what's going on, do you? I know some things about Alter Dreams, but let's skip that part. We are in some facility close to Earth, Cavite, for us to escape positive bottom floor. I knew it! You always figure everything out before everyone else does. Well, thanks for the info. It'll be great to be f somewhere familiar. Yes! Now, can I just go down? I like the little alien. Ale! Laugh my ass off, or Lamau. Nice! We did it! We escaped! Fuck you, aliens! I didn't actually see any aliens, though. Where were they? No! No! Sons of bitches! You look like Mother Brain. Oh, no! This is a bit unnerving. Marvelous, isn't it? You! Alien bro! He has four arms. That's awesome. And he's super fucking cool looking. I am Viz, decider of your world's fate. He was the one who was drawn on the outside of the ship. Uh, nice to meet you. What exactly is going on here? Why don't you ask that cowardly traitor over there? Hey, Diz! <laughs> Whoa, I'll be taking this, thanks! Psychic powers! Super speed! <gasps> I want it all! So does the game keep going on, then? So, cowardly traitor, what exactly is going on here? I am a traitor, but not to you. My name is Diz. The plot thickens. Diz! I recognize that name. And Viz, too! Weren't you in that meeting in the transmission before I woke up from my dream? You said you were planning to freeze planet Earth? 
none of this will make sense unless I start from the very beginning. It began with Vizion. Vizion's project started by leader Viz, just the way you saw. He thought it was his duty to say the fate of every planet in the universe. Planet by planet journey began with your planet Earth. Nobody was in agreement to this plan, of course, but we are under his rule. He gave his minions one chance to prove Earth was worthy racing. We built a time stop, stopping mine and set it outside of an Earth school. As it would turn out, this school was Riddle Elementary School, where you were. Our hope is that nobody would escape the school. Sorry, bro. I was awesome. Fortunately, that was the very same day you left the school early. Time throughout Earth stopped, and Viz was convinced Earth had evil intent. He ordered us to abduct you and your friends before restoring Earth's time. Viz had a plan to use your evils and powers against you to destroy Earth. We had to look into your minds, hence the idea of giving you altered dreams. We even changed your clothes a few times to see if that affected your thoughts. So it was Viz all along with these plans. Where does your being- Where does your being a traitor come into the equation? Death was the only thing that could separate you from your dream. Alterations to dreams can be easily detected by just about anyone. So I could only wake you up if I killed you in your dream. After all, death is the only thing that could wake any of you up. How? Oh. It was only a matter of time before I was found out. That's awesome! Because I recognized him in the in Riddle School 4. I went the full mile and altered the mind of Mr. Munch, your last dream teacher. I sat behind you and watched the execution to, sh to be sure everything went well. That is why you didn't see me when you went to the same room in Fred's dream. By that time, I was where I am standing now. MIND BLOWN! The transmitter message you heard was a recording from another time. I transmitted it to you again when I knew you were about to wake up. I did it so that you would know Viz's plans for your world. And now he's taking Zack's freezing genes to power up a giant laser. Not long from now, it will have charged enough to freeze Earth. No. I have only been trying to help you so you could save your friends. This is awesome! It's really warm in here though. Ooh. Stretch it out. Good job! No! God, I'm tiny. Is that the laser charging? If nothing is done, your world will be solid ice! Not cool. Not, not rad. Sorry, Diz. The window view is reserved for the children. Hey, that's not nice. Sweet fucking throw with key card, though. I'm so sorry I ran out of the cages to trap you and your friends in. That's alright. You'll still enjoy the show, won't you? Whatever. Somehow I really doubt that. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be an unforgettable spectacle, which is why I plan to watch it on my own ship without distractions. Well, see ya. Prepare yourself for the grand finale! Bye! <laughs> Now do I have to escape from this place? That's a sweet ship. Well then, these statues have buttons just like the one I saw in the other facility. Not another one! Oh, it's gonna take me forever! Let's look around the room first. Um, cool. Oh wait, one. Four, three, five, two. I'm so glad they lit up. I got a key. What's the key for? The toothpaste. Why? Oh, uh, screw. The coin. Coin on screws. Coin on screws. Why? What did that do? I won't budge. I think that's the point. Drain? That drain looks like a black hole to me. What goes in probably never comes out. Okay, am I- am I done with that? Okay. Spin wheel. I may be able to save Earth if I can just steer that wheel. Right. There's buttons up here. I can't reach that from here. Um, light screen. I can't reach that from here. Circle pattern. It's a pattern. Is it important? I have no idea. 
Do I combine any of these? I don't know what's going on! I probably have to do the fucking thing over here. I don't wanna though! It's a wooden board! It might be covering up something, but I can't move it. Is there anything else left in here that I have to do? No. Damn it. Yes! 4701! Got it! Turn on the statues. Yeah, boy! Light screen! What do I do? I didn't fucking do anything. What do you do? Okay, let's go over here. It's a wooden board. Might be covered up. Okay. Hit the button. Here we go. Fuck. <laughs> okay, get to the board. It's a wooden board. It might be covering up something. I can't move it. Okay, use this as a crowbar. Fucking goddamn. What the hell is the pattern for the light screen? Oh. Okay, so is it upside down then? Two, three, middle, and then, okay. Okay, I can't reach out from here. Okay, I have to remember it, I have to remember it. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. I am smart enough to be able to do this. Yes! Awesome, it was upside down. What did that do? It was a mugshot if I ever saw one. <laughs> that was a mugshot if I ever saw one. Clever. Do we have anything I could use to piece these shards together? Yes, I do. The toothpaste! You go, uh, there? There, and, oh no. You go in the back. There we go, yes! Mug! Together! But, but, but what does the mug do? Huh? Oh! Hard wooden board? Fill up the mug with lava! Hot lava java! Coming right up. It's amazing this mug I watched break and hold lava without melting. It's because of the toothpaste that's in it. Right, now can I do this? Use that on this. Yes! Yada boy! Now I have a key to open this. Cool! There we go. Open! I went to the trouble of getting this key here. What do I- what? What? Oh, okay. I thought I had to do something with that. Oh, yes! Here we go! I'm a coming, friends! Don't even worry! There we go. Saved. Blow him up! Fuck him up! Is that it? Did I do it? Am I done? This is a long ass game! Yeah? Spadoosh! Soon this planet will be covered in a coat of ice! Wait, why did the ship have lava in it? Yes! Because evildoers deserve a taste of their own evil! Coincidence? Yes, they do! Boom! <laughs> Nice! Can you actually free stuff in space though? Whoa. Oh wait, of course you can. There's fucking <laughs> comets are just ice flying around, leaving ice particles everywhere. Amazing! You saved Earth and dispose of our wretched leader simultaneously. I managed to escape with this remote I found that used to be Viz's. Maybe I can use this remote to free your friends. Please do, please try. Well, with that, all, with all that's happened today, that's not a bad assumption. Well, give it a go, it's worth a shot. Stunk. Fred! Buddy! Smiley! Zack! Ow. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know how to drive the ship we're in. You'll all be back to your homes before you know it. I'm not cold anymore. This feels amazing! Oh god, now you're on fire. I may have learned something from this experience. Friends really can come from anywhere. <gasps> Even space. Oh. All my life I've been devoted to doing as little as possible. Witnessing everything Phil has done to help, help me realize even a world as big as ours can be affected by what one person does. That's a good message. 
I guess I should say I learned a lot from this experience. But really, only one lesson I learned today really stands out to me. Which is... Stay in school. <laughs> A message for the kids! Was that a flying pig? Stick around after the credits to see your time. Oh my god! That was awesome! That was so cool! Being able to like, whether he had that plan from the start or whether or not he got to the fourth one and he was like, I do not want to make any more little schools. And then he was like, you know what? I have an idea for a fifth one. And then he did it. And like, the way he m merged the story into it and made it all like dreams and everything. That was really cool. Very, very impressed. That was awesome. Good work, John Bro, and everybody else involved. That was really cool. I really enjoyed that. It was so fun. It went on forever, though. If I knew it was this long, maybe I would have split it in two. Nah, fuck it. Keep it all in one. Everybody, there's no point splitting into two, because then you'd have to wait, like, four days for the second part of it. And I don't believe in that. I, I think that you should... Like, a game like this that can be done all at once, why not just put it all in one? Oh, man, I love that. 65, 53, 21. These are all the beta testers again. Man, I, I think there's more. I think there's a uh, Riddle School Transfer 1 and 2 as well. I think I, I saw that somewhere before. So, I'll probably play those after this. I don't- I think they might be the end of them. Also, there was really cool- SHARK! There was really cool message there at the end. I learned something today. It's like, just one person can change the world. Which is a really good way to think about it. I mean, you might not change the world, but one person can do a whole lot. Like, I was- I'm just one person. I was one person in a cabin in the woods, out in the middle of nowhere, and I started making videos. And look what that turned into. Turned into a place where 10.4 million people all came together, and are here, like, right- as of right now, that is. I don't know when you'd be watching this. But as of right now, there's 10.4 million people on the channel. And that's just because one person started to try and make videos. 37 minutes. You unlock special features. Damn, dude. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode here then. Really cool. Really enjoyed it. Can't wait to play the rest of them if they're at the same caliber as that. Those next level fucking Flash games right there. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss and high fives all around. <laughs> thank you guys. I will see all you dudes. Oh, should we go off more? What's the, what's the best thing to get next? Better user experience. Maybe that'll be good. So that'll help the gameplay. And that, that thing, that key, that's perfect. I mean, speed is key as well. Look at him. Look at him spaz out.